Okay, so um, it will not be a classical trip report. I will not talk um, much about the sessions, but about the behind the scenes. Uh, how is it um, to organize uh, such a conference? Um, some numbers and uh, the feedback that we got from you, from the audience. So uh, let's begin with uh, the plans. Uh, so initially the plan was to have the conference on May. So on 13 of November, 2020, uh, we have a um, uh, WhatsApp group uh, for uh, the organizers, which are uh, Adi, Inbal, Mikhail, Iran, and I. Uh, so uh, we just uh, had a conversation. Maybe we should start planning uh, because it's uh, May, the, the date that we, Ed in mind is coming in about uh, six months. And then Adi, it's all in Hebrew, but I, I will translate some of it. Adi said, well, interesting. I have to think about that or thinking about that. Uh, and then time passes and COVID is around and we have another date, which was August. And February, we start uh, picking the dates um, and again, planning, um, checking COVID around. Uh, well, it seems that we will have to use uh, not the entire room, but uh, we can use only the capacity of 75%. So we have to um, narrow the number of participants. So we have to take into account all these considerations um, and to take into account printing shirts, um, paying for all kinds of uh, services like um, video, um, plaques, um, the tags uh, and food. So you have here the summary in Bal was the one usually summarizing our meetings. Um, and uh, eventually we have to print the shirts. So we have to um, design uh, the back and the, um, and the front of the shirt. And these are the designs that Adi was just uh, um, Thinking with us, which design to, to take? Do you remember which was the one that we took? That was the one with uh, the pattern inside and the one without the pattern. I hope that you remember. I hope that you are using you, you the shirt in some way. Of course I remember. Um, do you remember, Adi? Of course I remember. We remember. <laughs> yeah, we remember that it was the first one. one. I preferred the first one, but it was, it was, this is one of the things that we have to discuss before, but there are many others. So this is what we do about six months or more before the conference uh, starts. Um, and then the conference starts and we were very happy to have it because uh, we had COVID uh, around uh, and we were under a risk all the time. Uh, so let's uh, see some numbers. Um, we had two days with 21 lectures. It was a, more than 15, uh, it was 21 before counting the, um, the lightning talks, which were more than that. Um, 13 sponsors who help the conference to, to happen, eight company booths, uh, 215 attendees and about 50 in the waiting list that we couldn't uh, take because of the COVID restrictions. We wanted to be in the capacity of uh, the room for uh, our uh, keynotes. Uh, I re will re uh, remind you that in, uh, 19, uh, in 2019, uh, we had more than 300 attendees towards almost 400, but uh, COVID and, and the local uh, restrictions uh, gave us this number. Um, 299 negative COVID tests. And I, I say usually that people who believe in C++ usually probably believe also in vaccinations. So uh, we were happy with that. Um, and f all, already now, already now, uh, 5,300 views of the lectures that were uploaded to YouTube in the recent days. Uh, and if you're asking yourself, how can I reach the videos? Well, it's quite simple. Look for Core CPPIL, search Core CPPIL in YouTube, and you will reach uh, the videos of all lectures. 
some feedback that we uh, gathered from the attendees. Uh, we sent a link to a survey and we got uh, not from all attendees, but uh, many. Uh, so we have the question of how was the experience with the communication before the conference? And most of you were uh, okay with that with some interesting comments. Like for example, it might be nicer to have a schedule uh, load, loaded faster. Well, we have some issues with, you know, we have to get the uh, proposals and that the pro proposals are being judged. So it, it takes some time, uh, but we will see if we can uh, in, in next years make the agenda uh, being published earlier. It is a problem in, in, in for many conferences. Uh, someone didn't know about the free parking. We had, free, we had free parking for attendees, so sorry if you parked outside. I hope that for the second day, uh, you realize that all the others are parking inside for free. Uh, and, and we had a very interesting and, and funny, and, and I, I say uh, I'm very happy with this kind of, of comment. The website had a sponsor us button until the last minute, still does, in fact, which made me question the preparedness of the organizers. In the conference itself, I was positively surprised to see that it was just such a big and well-organized conference. Well, we are happy that uh, you find it uh, like that. Uh, and I think that we still have the sponsor us button there. But yeah. Um, it's a perpetual some, sponsorship. Yeah, it's a perpetual and you can still sponsor us for 2022. How was your experience uh, with the antigen COVID-19 test? And, and you were quite um, uh, good with us because, you know, you had to uh, wait outside uh, almost in the sun. Well, if you came earlier, there the was a shed, but later on the sun came in. Um, and most of you see value uh, and you were okay with the test. When we asked, uh, was the decision to conduct a rapid COVID test? as a um, condition to enter the conference. I think only one, I don't know, yeah, one out of the 67 is 3%, no, maybe two, um, said that uh, it was not a good idea. Most of you say, yeah, it was a good idea. Um, so thank you, um, we appreciate that. Uh, how was your welcome uh, at the reception desk? So most of you see the um, experience good. How was the food? Well, we, we, I, I don't publish the comments. The comments are interesting. Some like the uh, meat, some prefer the uh, vegetarian options, but overall um, the experience is okay. The food was fine. We are happy with that. And, and next year, if you didn't fill the questionnaire this year and you do have something to say, please do fill the questionnaire because we are reading that. We are doing things with that when we come to prepare and plan next year. Uh, we ask about the length of the breaks and most of you are okay with the length of the breaks. Some see it as too long and uh, maybe one, so the length to be too short. Uh, we also ask about the overall quality of the sessions. Most of you saw the sessions as good or very good. Uh, we got some comments, we read the comments uh, and we will do things with comments. We will think how to improve. So thank you for all of you uh, who added comments. Um, how do you find the level of the lectures? Is it um, too advanced, too basic, or fit your C++ level? So for most of you, it fits the, uh, your C++ level, or, or uh, most of those who fill the questionnaire. Uh, and there are some who found most of the lectures, or some of the lectures, to be too basic. But, but I think that when we see this um, um, sample, this pie, it seems that the lectures in a way um, met the target. Um, you prefer the talks to be as selected by the speaker. Some of you prefer English, some of you prefer, uh, prefer Hebrew, but most of you prefer the lecture to select his own um, better choice, his own preference. Uh, what is the overall satisfaction? So most of you were okay or even loved it, were happy. Uh, and ag again, some of you, will, uh, no one said that it didn't meet his expectations. Uh, some said that it was, it, it needs some improvements and, and we also read your comments. 
Uh, would you consider coming to Core C++ 2022 in Israel? Uh, no one said no. Great, we're happy. Some said maybe, it's okay. Uh, it's okay to hesitate, uh, but 82% uh, said, yes, I will consider coming. Um, well, where you want it to be. So most of you want it to be in Tel Aviv. Um, some prefer Natania. I think that someone, someone is living in Natania uh, or maybe Kesaria is also okay. Uh, but most of you are preferring Tel Aviv. Okay, I think that we will go with Tel Aviv, but again, um, this is something that we have to think about. We are planning uh, some personal data. Um, where do you live? So most of you live in Tel Aviv or Gush Dan. There is someone who is living in Petah Tikva uh, and some from Ariel, Sharon, Shomron uh, and Jerusalem, but most of you are coming from Gush Dan. Uh, gender, well, at least in the questionnaire, and I think it was the same in the rooms. Most of you are male. We do expect, we do hope to see more female uh, coming, but this is something that uh, we have to work on. We have to think how to encourage more programmers or more female uh, women to attend. Uh, I, age. Just wanna, I just want to add that uh, this is relatively good percentages. Uh, so so I'm, I'm optimistic. Okay, so 10% is, is a start, is something to, to start with. Uh, like, the age is quite diverse, diversified. Uh, we have uh, starting from 18. And well, probably didn't fill the questionnaire, but one of the presenters were, was uh, 90 years old or more than 90. 89, yeah. 89, 89, sorry. Next year will be, it will celebrate 90. So uh, he didn't fill the questionnaire. Uh, um, I didn't cut it. It cuts here at about 50 uh, and, and some. So yeah, it is quite diversified. Uh, and it is, it is um, I, I would say, Good to see that it's not only legacy. C++ is not only a legacy language. We see people 18 years old and very young programmers coming to C++, which is something that makes us happy. Uh, level of C++ is also quite diverse. Uh, we have uh, beginners um, and we have a lot of medium uh, level uh, and up to experts. Um, are you getting to uh, meet up? So these 23% uh, are those who are here coming to the core CPP meetup. Many of the attendees don't come to any meetup and some come to the Haifa meetup or to others. So um, here are you. And uh, a few words about core C++ 2022. So we start planning it. And we hope that it will be back an international conference like we had in 90, 20, uh, 2019. Thank you very much all.